Hi there, Jacqueline here and this month I'm going to be talking about strength training and the importance of strength training and I will give you a couple of examples of programs that you could put together for yourself. So compound movements are super important and taking things to everything slowly is super important as well as putting the mind to the muscle. So when you're working your biceps for instance you take your mind and you take it to the body part that you're working. When you're doing a full body exercise, so compound exercise, which is what I call a kinetic chain exercise um, based on functional training. So things that we would do in real life. I'm also going to tell you what I feel is the best equipment to put your money into um, at this time for your home gym. So I have a very small space at the moment. Um, we've sold our bigger apartment and we didn't have much time. So long story short, we have a small space. So I have a set of dumbbells, free weights um, for doing some functional training exercises. I have a TRX, which stands for Total Resistance Exercises. They run about $200. It is probably the best $200 you're ever going to spend. Um, and then I have a spin bike. So spin bike for my high intensity interval training, which we have talked about many times being so important for lengthening the telomeres, keeping your cardio, so your heart healthy, your veins, um, the blood pumping, um, vital getting that in, but I want to stress how important um, training uh, your muscles is. So your functional training and maintaining your muscle mass. So training and maintaining that muscle mass should rank up there just as high as your high intensity interval training. So I have shown in the past, um, the first few workouts that I did for Ageless Thrival, the Gain Center, was um, high intensity interval training using body weight, so just your body and nothing else, which is great, and you're doing it very, very quickly, but your muscle load is not there. You're um, using a bit more momentum, you're using speed, you're getting that heart rate up in a short period of time. So. I recommend one to two days a week of strength training. So whether it's body weight training with the TRX um, and going slowly so that you can load the muscles properly or if it's using uh, free weights. So uh, one exercise that I absolutely love, for example, is a squat curl press. So you can imagine lifting up grandchildren, needing that squat, um, needing your glutes, your legs, your entire body goes into play. So taking that move really, really, really slowly and going into your squat and your curl and your press. So you can imagine lifting taking groceries, coming down as low as you can with your squat, curling and pressing. So that is my recommendation for a full body compound exercise and you're going to do it slowly and then you're going to break it apart. So I would do one set of 15 squat curl press, then I would do 15 just squats, nice and slow, making sure that you're coming down as low as you can go. You can take your legs a little wider apart for the hips, especially women like to, I, I like to make sure that your hips have that freedom so that you can squat really, really low and then do 15 squats, stop, then do 15 curls, nice and slow, and then 15 presses, nice and slow. You get the idea. So you would do one round of that. So 15 squat row press, 15 squats, 15 curls, not row, curls, and 15 presses. 
Then we're going to get into the posterior chain. So this is all just with free weights. So for your posterior chain, I would do a deadlift. So you're going to come down, hip hinge. I'll move a little further away so you can see the full body movement. You're going to hip hinge, come down, row, come back, up, squeeze the bum. Come down, row, come back up, squeeze the bum. You make sure the weights stay close to your legs. So hip hinge, working your posterior chain all the way from your hamstrings. Your weights are close to your leg. Then you're going to throw in a row, come back down, and back up. Deadlift, row, and up. You're going to do that 15 times. Then you're going to break it down to a deadlift 15 times. So just your deadlift for 15. And then you're going to bend your knees, slight bend in the knees, and you're going to do your rows for 15. You've always got a micro bend in the leg, especially when you're focusing on the rows. So even when I come down in a deadlift, I have a soft bend in my knee, I row, and then I come back up. So now you've broken that into a separate move. So you've got your deadlift, 15, then your row 15. So that is your uh, posterior chain exercise. So now I'm going to get into the front of the body. And what I like to do here is I like to do a bridge. So I'm working posterior as well as core and I want to do a chest fly. You can also always do your push-ups from a, um, a chair or a counter or the floor, but I'm focusing on compound exercises today. So I'm going to get down on the floor. I'm going to take myself into a bridge and I've got my arms up. My free weights are in my arms and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down I'm doing a fly because they're light weights. You can also go heavier with um, heavier weights and do a chest press. Squeeze the bum on the way up. Take it down, squeeze it up. So you're gonna do that for 15. Then you're gonna take the move and separate it out. So I'm gonna take my weights onto my hips and I'm going to push up, squeeze, come down. I'm going to do those for 15, focusing on the glutes and the hamstrings. And then I'm going to take my legs in the air, tighten the core, and I'm going to take it into a fly with the weight. So I'm going to keep it very, very, very isolated. But I'm working my core. I'm keeping the abs tight and my legs are in the air. So you're going to do that for 15. So now we've got all of the functional training going on for the entire body. We still have to do our triceps. So triceps are really, really important. They're that part of the body where we tend to lose our muscle mass as we age, they flop around a bit. <laughs> um, so what I'd like to do is get into a position where I am kicking back the triceps. So I'm gonna get back into um, my semi-squat. Uh, semi and my body is coming down to about 45 degrees. And I'm not quite parallel to the floor. I'm up from there. And I'm doing a reverse fly. I'm going to do that for 15.
15. So we did a row before. And then I'm going to do a tricep kickback. So the same position in that upper body. So you have, it's not a 90 degree angle, you're at about a 45 degree angle from being parallel to the floor. You're going to do 15 like this, and then you're going to do 15 like this. You do not flick those wrists. That's really hard on the wrists. You keep them straight, and you're going to take the doubt. And so you're going to do 15 of each of those. So you're working your core the entire time by having your focus on the core. You're working your triceps by extending them back without the flick, and you're going to be doing your reverse flies so that you can get your upper back as well. So that, in a nutshell, is your free weight exercise. Do 15 of the compound moves and then isolate for 15 on the other moves. So that's full body, but remember, take it slow, load the muscles, take your mind to the muscles. Now I'm just gonna give you a couple more things that you can do with the TRX. And the TRX is lovely because it's also cardio if you want it to be. You would speed it up. You can do HIT with it if you want. That's a whole other segment. Um, so, uh, with my weights, or with, sorry, with the uh, straps halfway down, I'm going to show you how you can work the triceps. And of course you're working your core. And the TRX works in such a way that the further up you stand, the easier the exercise is, and the further back you stand, the harder it is. So there's your triceps. Then taking it to push-ups. Here's your push-ups. So you're using your body weight the entire time. You can use uh, for reverse flies. I would shorten the straps a little bit. And you'll get to see how we work the back. So, reverse flies. You're holding the TRX, your shoulder blades are back and down. And you are opening up and resisting on the way back. I move in further. I make it a lot harder. And the idea is to always go nice and slow. So, there's so many things that you can do with the TRX. It's fantastic. Like I said, best $200 you're ever going to spend. Take your mind to the muscle. Maintain, grow your muscle mass. You can do it at any age. And I'm going to recommend that if you do have access to a gym and you have heavier weights, that you slowly build up to using the heavier weights. Go nice and slow. If you don't have heavier weights, like I only have these guys, I can make the exercise harder by either taking it up slower on the contraction, on the uh, concentric, or slower on the eccentric, or adding a pulse. So you can play with your tempo and make it harder. Adding a little pulse in always makes it harder. So even with your deadlifts, a little bit of a pulse, and you're going to load the muscle differently. So that's going to be your challenge for the next little while or forever. Make sure that you add some strength training for a couple of days a week and do your hip training three, four times a week. I hope you've enjoyed the segment and we will see you next month with another edition. Thank you so much and have a great day.